For the second straight day, fire burned through the Bunyip State Forest, edging ever closer to neighbouring houses and the farms. The fire commenced at uh, about 11.30 on the 25th of April, um, in burning in Bunyip State Park in uh, steep, difficult and remote terrain. Uh, it was being fanned by northwesterly winds and the fire, uh, given the, the mild autumnal weather condition, the fire was spreading in a southwesterly direction at quite a quick pace. The principal concern the management team had was to ensure that all property and any other assets were uh, protected from the forward spread of the fire. The resources totaled some 200 personnel during the peak of the fire. This included the Department of Sustainability and Environment, CFA and Vic Pole resources. CFA resources together with the uh, Department of Sustainability and Environment resources were used in uh, first attack element of the fire or first attack uh, response to the fire. They were also used in preparation of containment lines uh, and more importantly in, in asset protection for the Garfield North sector and the Tonnenbach sector and also for uh, the individual homesteads on farms uh, uh, which were outlining from uh, the hamlets. With discussions with the planning department operations and the incident controller, uh, it was decided that the fire had potential to spread into farm areas uh, with housing and we would be under pressure but maybe have the time to set up a community meeting in Tonnenbuck. We started organising phone trees, phone calls, media releases, any which way we possibly could to get the information to the communities around the area to, that the meeting was going to be held that afternoon at uh, half past two. The meeting was very, very successful. Uh, we had 130 people at the meeting. Uh, we had representatives from DSE and CFA uh, talking at the meeting and telling the residents what was going on and what was expected uh, because there was a fairly significant wind change forecast for later on that afternoon or evening. We were anticipating uh, that the 90 kilometre an hour winds would move the fire uh, closer to Garfield North and would also put pressure on the northeastern flanks of the fire. Um, however, with the, the coming of the cooler change, those winds did not eventuate. Indeed, there was uh, some minor wind gusts in the order of uh, 30 to 40 kilometres an hour, but nothing greater than that. And what followed the, the cooler change was a nice amount of rain, which uh, restricted the forward progress of the fire. The cooperation between the services was probably some of the best I've seen, certainly since the Gippsland floods when I was involved down there. The liaison officer from Vic Pole was just fantastic. We would not have been able to achieve the 130 people at the meeting at Tonnenbuck uh, in three hours without Vic Pole. Uh, their phone trees, they had access to people. The work that they put in was terrific. It's quite notable to bring to attention the great cooperation that existed and great working relationship uh, that uh, eventuated between the Department of Sustainability and Environment, the CFA and VicPol. Uh, it was one seamless operation. Uh, it was certainly a, a model we, we need to take into the future.